everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, so today we're gonna take a look at some spider mites. Now, I am showing you this Phalaenopsis orchid, which has suffered quite a lot of damage from spider mites. I absolutely did not see them, and although I um, sprayed this orchid with water and I showered it periodically, um, that does not work. It, it does not keep them at bay quite at all. And I just want to show you here with my flashlight how you would see if you have a um, spider mite infestation. Practically, you will not see that much. You might see some dots here and there. Here are a few dots. But with your naked eye, practically, you cannot really spot them unless you see the damage, in which case it's a bit too late. Um, so I went on eBay and Amazon and I went a bit creative. I got myself a little gadget and I can show you a bit of a microscopic view on spider mites. So let's see how these buggers look like and then I'm gonna talk about the gadget that I used. Okay, so this is a closer look on the exact same orchid I showed you earlier. These are the spider mites and you can actually see how many they are. Practically they're invisible to the naked eye, but zoomed 500 times, this is how they look like. There's, There are quite a few that are moving around. Uh, it's not a pretty sight. Here we go, another look at them. They are really red and now you can actually see why they're called spider mites. They actually look like spiders. Now some of them are not doing much. Uh, they seem to be um, fixed in one point. Maybe they're nymphs or eggs, I'm not sure. I have just been um, starting to notice them better now. And here I am trying out some stuff. Um, this is actually alcohol. I just want to see how they react to alcohol. And I'm having mixed feelings about it. Now, this is a spider mite which is different. It's browner, it's a bit bigger, and it runs so fast. So I had a little bit of trouble um, catching this guy actually on film. Excuse the shakiness. I have a better view in a bit. So these guys actually run quite fast and uh, yeah, they're quite nasty. They're they're pretty big compared to the other ones. Here you have a, uh, a better look. This guy was feeding, I, I suppose. I don't know what he was doing, but this is a more stable look at him. When they decide to run though, they are so, so fast. You can actually see them move with your naked eye. So as you can see, they have white legs and a sort of a brownish body. And here is the little gadget that I used. Now, this is not a proper microscope, although it is called a digital microscope, USB, whatever. What it is is actually a uh, camera which uses a macro lens, and it can actually zoom in 500 times. And you can see some stuff. You will not be able to see uh, cells and into tissue and stuff like that. But for your home use, I love this. I've been looking at all sorts of things ever since... I got it. Uh, so this is the little thing that I purchased. Um, it is uh, Chinese made, I don't know, quite cheap. I will give you the links towards Amazon and eBay where you can find them for Europe and USA. Um, but you know, if you live in another country, another territory, you can really search for this and you'll find it. What you're gonna get is actually this device and you'll have a CD with installing the little application or software it has. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've stopped using CDs for ages, so I'll add in the description a link towards the software link so you can download it and install it. Now I run Windows 8.1 and it is compatible and I'm pretty sure that uh, older versions of Windows are compatible as well. Um, it has two programs, one that actually lets you record what you film and uh, I think possibly take snapshots as well. You have some buttons here on the little gadget. I didn't make them work just yet. I need to install some stuff but I didn't bother too much. I just, uh, I just wanted to film the little buggers. Um, and also it has another software which is measurement. I think it lets you edit the pictures or snapshots you do. I haven't installed that yet. It gives me an error. Uh, I'll look into it. I did, really didn't look too much into it. Um, but I don't know if I use it. I just want to see stuff and record stuff and that's pretty much it. So if you install the driver, you plug this thing in. Uh, it's USB. Oops, sorry about that. It's USB so you just plug it into your laptop or a computer and um, run the application and you select which camera you want because it might actually go into default your webcam or you know uh, you select the, the thingy and there you go boom you have some really nice view now this thing comes with its own light it has a bunch of LEDs here so you don't actually need to 
point a flashlight or anything on the on the area and there you go this is actually the lens which retracts you can stabilize it and focus wherever you want from this wheel and it's actually pretty pretty cute so alrighty hope you enjoyed this video um this was a closer look at spider mites i'm not gonna talk about treatment just yet uh, i just want to look at them a little bit more see how they react to different uh, substances like alcohol and stuff like that and um, other than that I'm still trying out my hairspray experiment and it's going so well I absolutely love it so yeah I'll keep you updated and hopefully I will have some more interesting footage to show you I swear I'm looking at all the little thing I even looked at grains of salt with this thing it's quite interesting so if you think this is something um, fun to you then you have the links in the description Alrighty, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos, just subscribe to my channel. If you have questions and suggestions for me, just leave me a comment. But make sure in your G Plus settings that people outside your circles can reply to you. Otherwise, I cannot reply. So, alrighty, thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!